Okay, everybody, welcome to week 15 of uh, our continuation into the minor keys and the minor scales. Now, last week, we learned about the different key signatures for minor scales, uh, for minor keys, and how there's a minor scale that fit each minor key. So, again, I'm not going to review our chart, but we'll pull it up from time to time. But we're going to talk about the idea this week of we can take our minor scale that we learned last week, the natural minor scale, and we can alter it a bit. So let me show you what I mean. Last week we learned that if we have the key of C major, that's C major. Attached to the key of C major is what we call the relative, the relative minor. The relative minor means that we would three, four, five, six. If we start on the sixth note, in a C major scale, the sixth note is A. What that means, if we start on an A and play the same notes that we played with C major, no flats, no sharps, we start on A. have an A minor scale. So every major scale has its relative. Here's another example. Let's take F major. Here's an F major scale. The key of F has one flat. The relative of F major is D minor. How do we know that? You can count up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the relative of F major is D minor. Start on any D. I'll start way down here. See? D minor used the same key signature that F major did. F major has one flat, so my D minor scale had one flat, the B flat. Let's do a G minor. Well, B-flat major, the relative minor B-flat major is G minor. Why? Because you count up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So G minor will be the relative of B-flat major. So if B-flat major has two flats, B-flat, C, D, E-flat, F, G, A, B-flat, <coughs> so it has B-flat and E-flat, a G minor scale will have the same two flats. So, to be more specific, not only is this a G minor scale, but that's called G natural minor. What that means is we're only going to use what the key signature allows us to use, which is what I have in my chart here. See? This is G minor, a G minor scale. It has the same two flats as its partner, B flat major. And we have three forms. We have what's called the natural form, a melodic form, and a harmonic form. So it's three different minor scales we can get. Now sometimes students say, well, how come a major scale doesn't have three different forms? Here's major. You can't change anything in there. The second you change one aspect, you don't have a major scale anymore. Uh, that's why students will ask me, well, in a minor scale, what's the arrangement of whole steps and half steps? I, it's too hard because it has three different forms. So rather than think of um, whole steps and half steps, just know how it relates to the major scale. So the natural minor scale, in this case G minor, will only use those two flats. Now I'm going to skip down to the harmonic minor. The harmonic minor scale, and I have it up here, only raises the seventh. So look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See that F? In the harmonic minor scale, that F goes up a half step to F sharp. So look at what it looks like and sounds like. Here's G natural minor.
and there's a whole step between seven and eight. That's natural minor. Now here's G harmonic minor. See that big, big jump between six and seven and the half step. Okay, and that's quite an exotic sound. colors in there. And then we have the melodic form. In this form we raise the sixth and seventh. So in a G natural minor we have G, A, B flat, C, D, that's an E flat. So E flat's the sixth. How can you raise E flat? You can raise the E flat by changing it. You got to change it to E, see, melodic. See that E flat got changed to E natural, and now we raise the seventh too. The F got changed to F sharp. So here we've raised the sixth and the seventh to make melodic. So here is G natural minor. Now harmonic, I'll raise the seventh. melodic, I'll raise the 6th and 7th. Now the odd thing about the melodic minor, it's the only scale, the only minor, natural, uh, 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 natural melodic or harmonic uh, form that is different on the way down. So this guy is, is the same way up, same way down. Harmonic, same way up, same way down. The melodic minor on the way up raises the sixth and seventh. On the way down, it reverts back to the natural. So I'll play you those three up and down. G natural minor, up and down. G harmonic minor with the raised seventh, up and down. Melodic minor, where we raise the sixth and seventh on the way up, but on the way down, natural. And students will ask me, why are there three different forms? Because it gives more variety to any kind of uh, minor melodic line, and it also introduces more variety of harmonic color. Because the second you start changing these notes, you change all the underlying chords that are available to you. So basically, it's like adding more colors to your musical palette. Now, some students have asked me, they said, well, the, the melodic minor, why is it different on the way down? I'm going to play the melodic minor scale from here backwards using that raised sixth, raise uh, the sixth and seventh. Listen to the sound as I play those notes backwards. G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, okay? Do you hear it? Well, do it again. You can hear a major scale. You are correct. As we go down those notes, our ear is no longer in the land of minor, we're in the land of major. The only way to keep a minor sound is to alter it. So this way up, return. And we stay in minor character. Okay. Let's do that with um, another scale. Let's do A minor. 
A minor is related to C major. C major has no flats and no sharps. So A minor has no flats and no sharps. Here's A minor. Okay, that's A minor, but to be specific, that's A natural minor. Because it will only use what the key signature allows. Key signature says no flats, no sharps. Okay, now A harmonic minor. We're going to raise the seventh. And finally, the melodic minor will raise the sixth and seventh. But on the way down, we'll go back to natural. And I just played three forms of minor. Now, any serious music student, when they practice their scales, learn all their scales. And I'm not talking about they learn them after 30 years. They learn them in their first a year or two of studying music, whatever instrument they're studying. They learn all their major scales. They learn all their minor scales. And of course, they learn how to arpeggiate everything. A minor. D minor. And again, every serious music student learns all their three forms. Let's do one more. Um, let's just say, because this will be part of your homework. Let's say you're asked to do uh, figure out what a D harmonic minor scale is. Okay, well, here's what I would suggest you use. That you refer to your chart <coughs> from last week. And you say D harmonic minor. Let's find our chart. The one from week 14 that says circle of fifths minor keys. Let's see what D minor needs. Where is D minor? Is it this guy? No, that's D major. Minor. Here's minor right there. D minor shares one flat, just like its partner, F major. So a D minor scale is going to be... Now what I just played was D natural minor. What if we want harmonic minor? Do that scale, but raise to seventh. What if I want the melodic? Got to raise the sixth. One, two, three, four, five. Here's six. Got to raise it. And on the way down. Okay. So let's take a look at uh, what some of your homework. For this looks like and again for the homework I would refer to the circle of fifths minor keys so one of the things I've got you doing is building the different scales scale building I'll give you treble and bass and here we go let me take out some of the wackiness And you're going to build the natural minor, the melodic minor, the harmonic minor. E harmonic minor. <coughs> okay, how do we build this? First of all, you need to know what would the key signature of E minor normally be. Where is E minor? Right here. E minor natural would only have the one sharp. So go back in back over here. Normally it just needs F sharp. So let's get an F sharp in there. Now the next note is G, but just G. Because natural minor just has the one sharp. Now an A. Now a B. Now a C. Now at this point, <clears throat> if it was natural, I would just end with D E. But harmonic says raise the seventh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, the seventh's D. Got to raise the D to D sharp. Listen to the whole scale. Now, most importantly, see if you can hear that big leap 
from six to seven and the half step. And of course the last note is E. E flat, harmonic minor. Okay, let's look at our circle of fifths. Where's E flat minor? Where is it? It's here somewhere. There it is. E flat minor is going to have the same key signature as G flat major. So E flat minor has got one, two, three, four, five, six flats. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat. So let's go to our scale building. We've got E flat. Then the next note is F. Well, was is F flat? B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat. Nope, F is not flat, so it's just plain old F. Now we saw those flats, so we know G flat is there. We know A flat's there. We know B flat's there. Hmm, is it C flat? Let's see. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat. Yeah, there's a C flat in there. We know there's a D flat. Whoops, I'm not going to put that in. D flat would be natural, but harmonic says we got to raise that seventh. So if it's normally D flat, how do you raise D flat? Just make it a plain old D. Listen to the scale. And we end with, we start on E flat, we end on E flat. Now, C sharp natural minor. All right, let's check it out. Where's C sharp natural minor? Where is it? Right there. C sharp minor has F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp. And since it's natural, just go C sharp to C sharp. Make sure you got the F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp in there. C sharp, D sharp, E. Oops. We need an F sharp. We need a G sharp. Now we can have just A, B. Now check this out if you want to see the whole thing. Okay, now you see the whole thing. You want to hear it? Okay, let's do one more. Uh, well, that's E flat natural minor. A natural minor, let's skip. Okay, C melodic minor. Let's see, where's C minor? Normally C minor, here it is. A natural, C natural minor is going to be three flats. Okay, so normally C natural, and you could always do the first five, because we're only going to change six and seven. So we got a C, and we got a D, and we got an E flat. We got an F, and we got a G, so that's the first five. So that's the first five notes of a C minor scale. Now normally, if we were doing C natural minor, the next note would be an A flat and then a B flat. Why? Because that's what it needs. It needs B's, E's, and A's to be flat. That's what it would be normally. Normally, the sixth one is A flat, but melodic says raise the sixth. How do you raise A flat? Raise it to play an old A. Next, we would have a B flat, but we want to raise the seventh. So B flat gets raised to B. All right, there we go. And listen to the, the, the scale. And... Did you hear it? Different way down? Watch. And did you see how coming down it went to the natural minor? It has the three flats that it would normally have. All right. So that's what you got there with the, uh, the uh, building scales. So let me show you. What, what other homework I've given you for that. I have also given you out of the ebook 7.2 
and 7.3, and those relate to the homework at hand. I'll show you. 7.2. You can also, you got your reading there if you need to brush up on anything. All right, <clears throat> so on the top, a D natural minor scale is given. That's D natural minor. Okay, D minor is related to F major. Both F major and D minor only have one flat. Now it says on this one, you make D harmonic. All right, well, we got to at least get this guy in there. So let's get the B flat down here. All right, that was pretty good. That's a D natural minor scale. This is a D natural minor scale. It's identical. How do we make it harmonic? Raise the seventh. Okay. F harmonic minor. This is F natural minor. It says on the top, you have the F natural minor. F minor has four flats. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, just like his brother, A flat major. So now if we're going to make harmonic minor, we got to start making this guy. Okay. Then we need a B flat. See, we got to, it's going to duplicate one, two, three, four, five, six. And before I put that D flat there, normally this E flat, that'd be natural because it uses the four flats, but we got to raise the seventh. How do you raise the seventh? You turn E flat into E. So this guy's going to be D flat, and now we're set. Okay. Okay, two scales are shown without accidentals. So on the top one, we're going to make E harm, uh, I mean E natural minor. Well, in E minor, if you look at the if you look at your your chart from last week, E minor has one sharp. See there's E minor just like his partner G major. One sharp. So where is it? There we go. So we need just one sharp. Okay, we've done. That is E natural minor. Now we're going to make E harmonic minor. Well, that we still need this. First five have to be the same. The only thing we got to change is raise the seventh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a seven. We got to raise D to D sharp. Now we're good. We're done. Now I'm not going to do the rest of those. You can do this on your own. The other one I have for you is 7.3. Okay. Match the minor keys on the left with the relative major. Well, what's the relative of F major? D minor. What's the relative of D major? Look at your chart. B minor. G major. E minor. And that leaves us with the last guy. All right, and you do the same thing here and the chart will help you. The only other thing I have in, re in regards to the natural harmonic melodic assignments is taking you through this. There you go, week 15. So you can do that. That's all related to the minor, minor keys. You can read there, a little bit more clarification on that. You're going to do minor scale building, and you're going to do ear training minor scales. So what that is, you're going to have this in your practice. As a musician, you should be able to hear the different scales. Can you hear a major scale, the natural minor with the whole step, and that really exotic harmonic minor with the half step between seven and eight. Let's see.
the gear ma a major scale, the natural minor, or that really exotic harmonic minor with the half step between seven and eight? Which one? To me, that's not like major. What do you think? Hopefully you heard major. Da, that's seven and eight. Uh, uh, half step between seven and eight. Uh, uh, whole step between seven and eight. seven and eight uh, whole step between seven and eight okay that's what you're gonna do now my suggestion is you can just practice you can just play them over and over you can say oh what was that again uh, you can custom and just see if you can hear the difference between the natural and the harmonic again everybody operates at their own pace you work on what you think you need to work on the other stuff I have for you this week is um, you're going to work on your intervals, continue to work on identifying seconds, thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, and sevenths, build those intervals, hear those intervals. Last week I gave you a break on rhythm, performance, and dictation. We're back to that. Plus you'll do some sight singing. And the um, you'll be doing uh, chapter eight, which is all interval work, which is pretty basic, all stuff you've had before. Okay, guys. Uh, oh, and one other thing. You, do you have a discussion? The discussion is because we are a class and we we need to interact with each other as student to student. Hopefully you enjoyed the discussion this week. Okay, guys, have a great week. We'll talk to you later. Bye.